Hello, hello. This is Trevor Mickelson, and I help healers embrace prosperity from the fifth dimension and beyond. And it has been a little while since I have posted. <laughs> I haven't done a sun gazing video in a little while or posted any of my downloads in quite some time. I felt during this inter interesting time of the world's awakening that the messages that I have been receiving are for me and it feels really good to have shared so much and also get to a point where you can only experience so that's what I've been up to. <laughs> and it's been glorious! Let's look at this beautiful Colorado sunset. Just, oh, it just feels so good. Oh, just, oh, it's so good. Just feel that energy, right? Feel that energy. June 16th, 2020. There's a lot of energy to be had. And there's a lot of excess potential energy to be had. There is a temptation to feed. Wow. There is a gap between the fourth and the fifth dimension. And in order to integrate into the fifth dimension. Dissolving energies of fear from the connection to your soul is paramount. And as we are in the third dimension, yet transitioning through the fourth dimension right now, Ever since about 2011, 2012 is when the earth started to shift into the fourth dimension. And as, a, as multi-dimensional beings, we understand that not only are we third dimensional, fourth dimensional, fifth, but infinite dimensional. We do not have a higher self. We are in ourselves an alternate dimension and have the ability to rule our domain with different information than in other dimensions. And in this dimension, since there are energies that were created from trauma and perpetuated through pendulums and so many different avenues into you. And if you would like to learn how to ease out of those pendulums that keep you in a consistent fear state or anxiety state or depressed state, it might be time for you to connect with me in the Embrace Prosperity Mastermind group. So there's a lot to be had there because what is happening right now is we are creating, <laughs> we are creating the fifth dimension. 
our fifth dimension because in and if you your part of your consciousness because there's a part of your consciousness that is already in the fourth dimension and it is not a pretty place it is a i it is domination it is it is energies that you are seeing and fearing and feeling because you are potentially been empath uh, been pushed out of your own chakra system your chakras are, are displaced and not in alignment so you are <laughs> passively taking on all energies around you and there's nothing that you can do to stop it energetically so logically you might think you might be in a good position <laughs> emotionally you think you might be in a good position but that's the second what happens about the rest of the new normal <laughs> the new normal I am the creator <laughs> I'll show you my new normal so that is the fifth dimension I love you and this is my path. I love you and I love you and you are a part of my consciousness that there is an existence that is reflecting upon myself an area that I get to choose to experience a lesson that is the best lesson that I could come up with and create and yet create all options just to see if I would choose to forget if I chose to forget would come back and make the same or different choices and how would that outcome go this time around and repeat <laughs> and anywho since we are third dimensional beings our third dimensional portion of our infinite consciousness in this multiverse so we are everywhere as we are right now that's why now is the most important thing because in the now your chakras feel safe to come home if you're in the past i mean you're you, you're just you're just not here you're there or back like your your chakras will not trust you they will not come back like you have to feel safe at home <laughs> safer at home the messages are great and they put it right in front of your face of what it will take for you to beat them they tell you what they're doing every single move and if you'd like to you can see 5, 10 or 20 moves in front because it's just how that fourth dimensional energy has to play that's the only thing that's the only level that it can play is limitless is limited and when our star seed intergalactic planetary dimensional kings and queens our ascended master essence landed on this planet just like in Dolores Cannon's work something to check into you would see that we're all here right now receiving this message for a reason because we're the type of individuals that can stare at the Sun and they want to tell us that something is bad for us they want to tell us that don't do that they train all the physicians all the medical community that go down the routes of the <laughs> indoctrinated culture of the medical system the medical system isn't flawed it's the culture it's who set it up it's how it was set up the medical system is just like the legal system all these foundational 
identity levels. It's truth. It's just who comes along and fucks it all up. And this time around, those who prey upon energies of others will be actively directed to the fourth dimension. If you like where you are, keep focusing on it. And that's the message from the sun today. <laughs> wow. Sometimes it hits real hard. <laughs> and it's so gentle. Wow. Looking at the sun. The fourth dimension is looking for as many candidates as that it can possibly get right now. It's just because that's what it does. The energies that are on this planet are super duper strong. And while their presence here, quantitatively, the light workers and star seeds star seeds star seeds what do stars or what do seeds need to grow they need the sun <laughs> they need the sun how do plants get their energy through photosynthesis how do sun eaters, sun gazers, star seeds, how do they obtain their energy? Many ways. <laughs> I just talk about this one a lot on this channel. In the Embrace Prosperity Mastermind group, I'm going to start diving a lot deeper. The times have come to just be you. And live a life in the ever-present moment. Thank you, Dr. Joe Dispenza, for enlightening me, enlightening me on that term. I love it. Ever-present moment. It's always there. It's ever-present. And by being there, the fear has no place because your chakra systems, when they are aligned and the center of your being, no fear can fit there. It cannot occupy in a space of light, especially when you consider divine light that our chakra systems have been transforming into. It will no longer be seven or eight <laughs> chakras or 12 chakras or whatever. Wake up call if you thought we just had the, uh, the standard set of seven. Nope. It's interesting, folks. And now is the perfect time to dive in. As you realize now you're getting bored of whatever system it is that they're creating and you already see that whichever direction that they go doesn't feel right though when you follow your heart and you start connecting with how you would want your life to go now that you understand who you are, you are naturally connected with what it is that you want because you're coming from a place of absolute alignment and knowingness. Since you are an individual who understands that they are an extension of source and their consciousness is vast, wide, and eternal, that whatever they can throw at you is fear and death. 
and knowing that one and knowing that when we came from and are one that the fear dissolves due to the abundance of light that is being shined in your chakra system and in doing so the energy that you have and the information and the connection to wherever it is that you would prefer to go will illuminate itself quite frequently and with extreme vigor. Knowingness, intuitiveness, having audience or Claire's, excuse me, having Claire's available to you. I just gave mine away. <laughs> yes. And doing and saying whatever is right and aligned. And what is amazing with when you do that, you have your highest benefit. You're aligned with your highest benefit. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Let's see if I can get this. I probably, oh my God, it's epic. That your highest benefit will always be aligned with the collective consciousness. Zzz. <laughs> benefit because when I look out for I it will never require its optimal experience to push down or aside there there are no layers of better the alternate dimensional selves of my own consciousness, none of them are a higher self. They are just on a different frequency. And in the third dimension, you have what it takes to command your love so that it reigns supreme now there is no such thing as dying there is no experience that you have to experience from a place of fear eliminating the opportunity for fear to reign supreme is in the ever present moment and when you have the opportunity to allow your chakras to find their way back home you will have what you need when you need it know where to go know who to talk to know what to say you will be led and you will guide and your vibration will reign supreme and consciously or unconsciously the world will experience that vibration because it will be embedded into the mainframe of this virtual reality matrix that we are living in these entities from the fourth dimension who speak in ears generally on the right side <laughs> 
they wow the sun just got bigger wow um they will entice you with so many interesting avenues to consume other individuals' energies, consciously or unconsciously. And by doing so, it creates a very interesting setup to be in a place of addiction due to lack of knowingness of what else, what other possibilities are there. <laughs> and when you're able to be in the ever present moment, and that's one of the reasons why I sun gaze. It's because it takes <laughs> focus. And that, what fires together, or what fires together, wires together, and that ever-present moment has been ingrained into my mainframe. So you feel that, because you pick up my energies. That's why you're here. That's why you're connected to this message right now. That's why you're staying as long as you're staying. Because at minute 15 of sun gazing, interesting things start to happen, but you need to pay your dues in order to get there. So take three months, 10 seconds a day, five minutes the first month, 10 seconds a day increasing, 10 minutes in month number two. 10, sen tech, 10 seconds increasing, month three, 15 minutes. After that, guess what? Unlock dormant DNA. Truth seeking codes. Manifesting timelines are speeding up big time because the fifth dimension is available right now. It's never been so easy. There the fourth dimensional energy frequency vibration, energy vampires, skexies. Yeah, they just put it right in front of your face. You are the crystal. You are the crystal. And the sun is gone. All right, cool. So over 20 minutes, sun gazing. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh man. Ugh. Well, anyway, in the ever-present moment, there's so much love that is available because what happens is your alignment. When you're in alignment, love naturally reigns supreme, and if if misalignment is has become a habit for you it's a really great time to understand how to align and i would connect with lauren egley from uh, whoop, um, earth and balance I'll put a link to her channel. Shout out to her. She's doing some epic things with that. And uh, healing your chakra systems and oh, aligning. Oh, good program she's got going on. Um, anywho. Everything you want is here. You won't get anything that you actually want though until you understand and align with who you are and once you truly align with who you are you'll know what it is that you want knowing what it is that you want 
the why actually dissolves and falls apart. <laughs> the why is an illusion, uh, just like the third dimension. <laughs> we don't need a why. The answer is always because I am. <laughs> because I do. Because I will. Because I like. Because I get. Because I am. Right? And since the why is answered, it's not a variable. If you treat it as having any other answer than that, then it becomes a variable. And that variable is elusive. Dive into that. Embrace Prosperity Mastermind Group. Stuff's already up there. And also, when you know what it is that you want, and the why is a constant, and you know who you are, I know who I am. I know who I am. I remember who I am. I'm remembering who I am. I'm rem remembering who I am. I like to remember who I am. I'd be kind of curious to think about the possibility of who I am. Huh. Who am I? <laughs> Just in reverse. So, uh, the optimal timeline shows itself. And then you just get to play out the leading role in your film, the film of your life. If all of the most amazing directors had come together and they had created this brainchild and nothing could compete with it ever, that's actually your life right now. Oh, wait. It's not the one where your consciousness is, though. <laughs> but that was an off-ramp. I just want to let you know that. And this video is an off-ramp. That... By knowing that the universe will present the how, and you've released that because you've surrendered that, you're in the ever-present moment, you surrender to what is, you see the challenges and opportunities of lessons or surrender and release of fear and reassurance of safety and our chakras come home, then we intuitively know which path feels the best. And that is your how manifestation actually works is just shifting timelines and everything that you want is just on a different timeline and if you're still sitting here today trying to manifest a car, the dream car of your of your life or the dream home forget that manifest a dream life period don't waste your energy on anything else the optimum timeline. That's it. Because everything you've ever wanted, you don't even know you want. Because you don't even know who you are. Yet. Um, that optimum timeline is, is uh, sweet. How you easily get there, like with grace and just pleasure along the way, is you really, 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 really allow yourself to just keep discovering what it is that you want by just being creative and trying things. Let the inner child come out, let it play, be at home so that your chakra systems will protect and aid and allow that child to experience life and for really the first time ever <laughs> in countless generations, <laughs> right? since, uh, yeah, like 10,000 years. Golden age and uh, the things that are happening right now are here to help you 
understand how to do that and are allowing almost every second of every day to be an opportunity to learn a lesson and those lessons are coming fast they're coming hot like they're coming hot <laughs> they're coming hot and if you can be neo in a place of surrender and alignment and just learn kung fu that's really what it is it's energetic kung fu fear simulation up to 11 how good are you how good are you at tetris how good are you at level 99 i'm sure you're great at level 5 it's time to be at level 99 and we all have the opportunity to do that through some really simple stuff like watching something beautiful i mean seriously isn't that worth it? Isn't this worth it? Isn't that worth it? If all you see is that a few times a week, a few times a month, and most people don't even see sunsets or sunrises. My day generally starts and ends with beauty. And that's the fifth dimension, whatever it is that you want to do. Because I got to tell you, this is some place I'm going to come back to over and over and over and over and over and over and over in my life. Right there, anytime I want. And when I'm journeying and <sighs> going to those spaces in the infiniteness of within. I just hope you see with the opportunity that you have in your hand to do less and embrace more. It feels good to embrace everything that we possibly can because every we created everything and everything is good everything and I love what the fourth dimensional energies are doing for the third dimensional portions of consciousness they are providing those lessons at a very quick rapid <laughs> route daily every minute and second of the yeah day for most though when come to this place where they could be at any moment it would just create a massive bridge for so many souls so many portions of consciousness to go on to experience the fifth dimension the seventh dimension the ninth dimension instead of just being waylaid in the fourth we're all looking to ascend and that's why we're here there's a risk and there's definitely a reward and it comes with absolute peace within oneself and realizing everything else is noise Follow your heart. It'll guide you everywhere you go. And if you don't know how to do that, I would highly recommend Lauren Egley. Let her know I sent you. She's a good friend. And yeah, she's here to help you, Lightworker. She's helped me significantly. And I, yeah, I feel so much like me. Anywho, love you. Have a great night and tell me how you, your uh, sun gazing has been going lately and if you uh, need any uh, videos on how-tos, if you miss something, 
if you want to learn about an advanced subject, if you uh, want to, yeah, anywho, all right. Anyway, this is Trevor Mickelson. I help healers embrace prosperity from the fifth dimension and beyond. It's time. It's time. So, let's make that shift within. Within. Thanks for watching this video presented by Tortoise and Hare Financial Affairs. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll get updates on our daily, weekly, and our monthly educational video releases. And also consider watching these other empowering financial education videos to enhance your financial trajectory. See you on the next video.